Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another video. In this one, this is actually going to be a very special video. Now, this is pretty big. So, this is actually going to be my last sponsored quid video for the moment. And if you don't know, there was a term that I signed a contract with Quid, so I would promote their drops. I would promote some of the stuff that they have going on. And this is actually the last video as part of that deal that we made. And I wanted to do this video because there's been so many rumors and lies and things like that spread that most of the time I ignore, I joke around, I just bug people and troll. But I want people who really actually care, who really actually know me and felt you know me and now you're falling for some lies and stuff like that. I wanted you all to be, be able to get the opportunity to hear directly from me my true feelings fully about quit and, and what I actually think. So um, that being said, um, I, I hit up Quid, got their approval to do a video like this where I could just be completely honest, regardless of what I say, it's fine. And I mean, that's pretty much been our relationship the whole time. Like if you all heard, like if you were a fly on the wall for the conversations that I've actually had with Quid, you wouldn't believe it. Like you really wouldn't believe it because people sit here and say how bad I talk to about Vivi and stuff like that, but Quid got it directly to their face. It's like, I'm sitting here going at Quid, and and that's what let me that's that's what made me a believer in Quid. Actually, the fact that they could take that from me, and then not only did they take that from me, they start implementing changes from myself, not just myself, but other influencers and and creators in the space as well, letting me know that okay, they're listening to the community, they're trying to find their identity, they're trying to figure out where they fit into this Web three space. We all know that Quid started as like with just stickers and a whole bunch of, they didn't even have NFTs. And that's where the beef started, where you had people from that side actually attacking the old team that got fired. They actually attacked the VV community. And this is where all the hate for Quid and the jokes and stuff came from. And I was the first one, obviously, I was the first one on them because they didn't even have NFTs. You're not even in this conversation. What are y'all doing talking? And I mean, that, that's, that was my view of Quid. And then... After they approached me, granted, I did it ha did have to be a big opportunity for me to hear them out. But after I heard them out, I actually became a believer, especially not only did they hear me out, listen to the things that I said and paid, but they also made the changes and did the things they said they were going to do. I can't think of many things that they said they were going to deliver and they haven't. And that is the, the key thing here for me. So... Quid has already proven that they can get big IPs. They've already proven that they can do big things. They've done it before. So the fact that they have been taking the time to build out the infrastructure to make their NFTs interoperable, to allow them to go to Wallace, to allow them to go to Rarible, to allow them to go to OpenSea, to allow their NFTs to go to, to, go to freaking the sandbox, because they already have built this infrastructure, if... This is the key. This is the key in this in this Web3 race, I believe, and when it comes down to the NFTs, metaverses, and things like this. I believe that the Quid team has proven that they can deliver. They can deliver the things that matter. And as far as I like, one thing that the VV community always stands on is, oh, they don't have IP. And I agree. Like, this is why no company comes close to VV, in my opinion. But at the same time, Quid has proven that they can get their hands on a lot of IP. They have proven this already. So at the point where they have the entire Web3 infrastructure, cash out, interoperability, they, they have everything you want in Web3. You can take their stuff to metaverses. It's like, at the point where you have this, I'm not going to doubt your ability to bring some big IPs back on board. I'm not gonna doubt, I'm not gonna doubt you. Um, and, and that's what it is for me. When I first spoke to them, they didn't even have NFTs at all. <laughs> they, they didn't have NFTs or they didn't have many. And, they said, "Yo, we're we're trying to we're trying to make a a, a splash in this space. We're going to be working on ourselves. We're, we're trying to find a new identity. We fired the old team, and we have brought a serious team on board to rebrand Quid and find what how Quid fits into this space, not a company to troll another company and things like that. And this is what this is what the VV community obviously assumes. It's like, oh, they're just." They're just trying to be little or bring down Vivi or something like that. It's like every competitor is not trying to bring down. They're trying to do their own thing. Every competitor is not trying to bring down every other competitor. That's just not how not how it works. That's what the last marketing team, for some reason, 
was stupid enough to think that that would be a good idea. But I mean, a lot of people at this point have has made it clear that their new person in charge of marketing is actually from the VV community. This is why Quid has been doing so well as of lately and Quid has been able to build a relationship with the entire VV community because they're one of us. <laughs> it's like, and this is what people, People keep putting this wedge between us, basing it off of the last team, not realizing that team is not there anymore. That team does not exist within the Quid ecosystem. And this is why things have been so much better. So one of the things that VV struggles with, in my opinion, this is not to trash VV or bring VV down or anything like that. And like I said, all these videos are my thoughts completely. Quid has nothing to do with my thoughts and my opinions. But one of the things that VV struggles, struggles with it's actually delivering upon the, the technological side of things. This seems to be where Quid is very strong. Like Quid, in my opinion, had a weaker, had a weaker vision, a weaker identity within this new space. Quid was amazing at its time for what it was doing. Then Web3 came, this big NFT boom happened, and you know, they, they were kind of playing catch up and trying to find themselves. But the fact that they wanted to find themselves, wanted to adapt. Like just everything about Quid's mindset in general, I, I have slowly become a fan of. I've slowly become a fan of that. Now, granted, I actually personally just started holding things on Quid. And what I mean by this is they've just started dropping things that I would find interesting enough to hold, like the Mona Lisa stamp. Now, it isn't some big licensed brands. It's, it's like derivatives. It's, it's derivatives of, of, of these things. But this is stuff where it's like, I'll hold on to this and see what it does. And then it's, it's so cheap. It's like four bucks for a pack or you can go and buy this for like 99 cents. It's like, why not hold on to this and see what happens? You can buy it for the price of a real stamp back in the day, yo. So it's like, why not? You know, it's not it's not some big deal. And then if you use my code, Cavell20, and I say you got to plug that. But yeah, you know, if you use my code, you get like, you get a certain amount of money coming in. I believe it's $20. Don't quote me, but I believe it's $20 you get right out of the gate for signing up. So this is this is the thing it's like if, if you can start off with x amount of dollars and get a bunch of stuff for free that could potentially be grails one day and, and, and quit grails anyway because one thing that i think quit has proven is that they're not going down without a fight they're going to keep advancing they're going to keep making these improvements they're going to keep securing this ip and you can say right now it's not on the level of, of vv but they had all the ip that vv has before vv had it and VV came out of nowhere and <clears throat> did a great job doing what they have done in the Web3 space. But when I say Quid is is catching up in terms of the, the infrastructure and the fact that they still have these relationships with these licensors and with these, with these big brands, I mean, <clears throat> VV isn't going to be, these IPs aren't going to be exclusive to VV. So I want to be where the IP is because that's where the attention is going to be, in my opinion. Um, at one point in time, when I first came out, obviously, VV was the only place. VV was a monopoly. VV was where you had to be if you wanted to be with the IP. Now you have so many other IP platforms, HRO, Recur. You have all these other platforms. You got Todd McFarlane, who's made his own. He's dropped Spawn and stuff like that. And, and Quid is just another company in this IP race, but they're backed by a billion-dollar giant, Animoca. And... I believe in their ability to continue delivering and I believe that they have proven over this last year that they're going to continue delivering and they're going to continue to, you know, to make things happen. So this is this is my true opinions about Quid. My opinion about Quid is that it it is a true contender in this space. Do I think that this is a VV killer? Do I think that, oh, did this everything should be compared to VV? Absolutely not. I don't think that anything about Quid needs to be compared to VV. I think that most people... When they speak about Quid and talk about the good things that Quid are doing, is doing in comparison to VV, it's relating it back to something that we understand. Like I saw something interesting. This guy, this guy from the hood, like uh, I think he, the Wall Street Trapper, I believe his name is. He started relating stock market stuff and trading back to selling drugs and stuff in the streets because that's how he understands things. His language is speaking street stuff. So he related it back to that, and that's how he was able to understand how to trade and understand how to make money in the stock market. As humans, we relate things to things that we understand, and VV just so happens to be what we understand. People make these comparisons like, oh, VV is better. 
when no one has ever said Vivi is not. It's like no one ever said like people spin narratives and create their own arguments and then they argue against you with an argument that they created and then the argument that they created starts to get spread around as what your argument is and it's like how like what i never said anything close to that but that's just how people are and then when pe people start just going with it, people are just going to go with it. like oh he said this he said i've, I've heard that i said 15 dollars owe me i've heard that i said 100 dollars i heard that i said all this stuff that i've never said um <clears throat> Like even when with these things, it's like people don't listen. People don't care to listen. They don't care to actually understand what you're saying. They hear something and run with it. I've made videos on hundred dollar Omi before, but that was from another person or some other content creator was talking about how that's what they believe. And I said, I wouldn't close my mind to that. I would have to understand it more and really see what VV does because that's a huge stretch. Um, especially, yeah, but this is, I'm not going to get more so into the VV side of things and the token side, but that's, that's what I said in regard to that situation. So, um, I feel like so many times Quid gets compared to VV and they, they just dismiss, people just dismiss all the amazing things that Quid has done and how Quid has really shifted its mindset and shifted what it's done. Like regardless of what people think, all my videos, the way Quid has been has sponsored the video, Quid's my my contract says I have to promote the drops. I have to tell you all that Quid has a drop coming up, and if you're interested in checking it out, go ahead and check it out. That's my contract. That's what I have to say. Nothing else. They don't sit here and say, "Yo, you have to bring down Vivi. You have to shut down." Like, they, like what company does that? Like, how is that a good marketing strategy? That's literally what they did the first time. They did that the first time with the old marketing team and it didn't work then. Why would they suddenly bring me on board to do the same thing? That's that, It doesn't even make sense, but I think it's easier for the VV community <clears throat> to sit here and try to believe that, oh, these are these are just terrible people who's trying to do this to the community and they've turned Cavell against that. It's like, the stuff don't even make sense. It, it really doesn't make sense. And then you have so many other influencers, but that's the thing in the community. The influencers and the content creators are the people who tend to do their own research a lot of times. And granted, there are a lot of people in the community who actually you all do do your own research as well. So shout out to y'all. But it's, it's, it's a lot of the content creators. The reason that a lot of the content creators and stuff is on board is one, obviously we get paid, but at the same time, we are open to seeing more opportunities out there. We're open to seeing what's true and what's real. And we're not as easily influenced by mobs of people saying one thing or the other. We have our own mindset. A hundred people can say one thing if we study, do our own research. Like I'm, I'm the $10 Omi guy. Like regardless of what anybody said, my research made led me to believe that $10 Omi was possible with the old Omi token. That that is That is what my research led me to. That is what I stood on up until the point where it's clear that the Omi token isn't going to be what they promised the Omi token would be. Now, there's still time for them to change things and revert it back to what it was, but I don't know if that's the plan. So anyway, that being said, I just wanted to make this video to let you all know my true opinions and my true feelings about Quid. And to tell you all one last time, to go and check out Quid. Um, I, I believe that they have a lot of potential. I don't believe that a lot of the IP on there is going to be stuff that interests you all in the current moment. They've released some coins. They've released some stamps. This stuff is interesting. Um, I'm holding, uh, this is the stuff that I'm holding just in case, but bigger IP is coming. Bigger IP is coming to Quid. Quid has already perfected for the most part their infrastructure, which means that all these features you're waiting for Vivi to release, they already are on Quid. So the only thing Quid has to do at this point in time is focused on getting IP. I believe they've done it once before. I believe they can do it again. Only time will tell if they will do it again, but I've been hearing some stuff behind the scenes that some big things are coming. And I think a lot of people won't be disappointed watching this project. A lot of people you're gonna see within the next year or two, you're gonna see people jumping on quid, like starting to look a hell of a lot like hypocrites because they didn't wanna listen when, when we've been telling them for the longest. So. Yeah, that being said, y'all, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out Quid if you are interested in IP content because a lot more is going to be coming soon. And 
why the VV is on the VV bandwagon and, and everyone's hating quid. I mean, you're going to be getting stuff at amazing prices over on quid because no one's nothing like a lot of people on VV who has a lot of money ain't going to take it serious right now. They're not going to take it serious until they see quid start making headlines, doing big things. And by that time, if you own everything, it's too late because then the VV people are going to have to come over and pay at the prices that we charge it. So that being said, you all can look forward to my normal VV content on the channel. This is my last sponsored video from quid but I will be holding on to things that I see as valuable and, and grails on quit. And yeah, like, I mean, that, that's just my own personal strategy. So yeah, be sure to check out quit if you want. Um, also use the code Cavell 20 and yeah, I will catch you all on the next one, fam. Peace out.